Royal Enfield and customization and modification have been part of the culture ever since Royal Enfield has been around. We have seen a lot of motorcycles customized for comfort, customized for looks and customized for performance. However, there is not much performance anyone can get out of a Royal Enfield. The 350s, the 500s, over the decades, the cast irons, the AVLs, even the J platform, none of them have actually been able to crack the performance from, that, from those engines. However, all that changed since the launch of the 650cc from Royal Enfield. Not only in India has it caught on as a custom, preferred custom motorcycle. All over the world we can see a lot of people customizing the Royal Enfield twins into various shapes, sizes, colors. Some do it to make it look good, some make it to suit their riding style, their comfort and everything. And some do it probably just to say I spent the most money on it. So today we will meet someone who's tastefully modified his interceptor. Uh, to me personally, modification of an interceptor can go two ways. One, change it completely, make it something it is not, which is okay, that's a choice. Or retain the retro, modern retro DNA and add on things that don't change the character, but make the motorcycle much better. So here is one such motorcycle. Follow me. This is one of the most tastefully modified interceptors. This reminds me of my Muddy Hog, which I had uh, modified to suit what I wanted from the motorcycle. I enjoyed it for a few years and then I gave it away for various reasons. And this is making me miss my Muddy Hog. Anyway, let's get going. Let me call the owner of this motorcycle. Welcome, sir. Good afternoon, Chief. Good afternoon. How, How are you? How do you do? Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Yes. This is Chidanand. Hi. He's got a nickname. I have given it to him already. He doesn't know about it. His name is going to be 2G. 2G. <laughs> That's GG. Gentle Giant. Thank you. You can see. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, 2G, how did the ownership journey start? Is this your first Royal Enfield? First and uh, yes, the best Royal Enfield that I like the most. Interceptor 650, it's unlike any normal Royal Enfield. I would say that too. <laughs> yes. And I'm very happy with the gear in the left side and the braking on the right side. Like all my RX100s or RD350 or even the super bikes. And this is a daily commute bike for me. You use it every day to go Absolutely. in heavy traffic. Heavy traffic. So last November, I just walked into the Royal Enfield showroom, Rajesh Nagar, booked it. They were lucky to give it to me in 100 days, February. Picked it up this year, rode it, came to Nandi Hills on the first ride and then immediately realized there are 50 things which need to be replaced <laughs> in the bike. 50 things you need to change. Maybe okay. 75 things, <laughs> maybe 100 done, things. You have another 25 to go. Maybe another 25 to By go. By the time you finish the 25, you'll have another 25. Another 25 to go. I understand. That's how I know is. that feeling. Yes. So yes, we got the bike and we, we did it up tastefully, keeping the retro style there. I like it a lot. I, it reminds yeah. me of my Muddy Hog. Lean forward, get rid of the lean forward. I've seen your bike. Yeah. Upright. My daughter has uh, famously given it a name, Gotterdammerung. It means the twilight in German. So every vehicle of mine is named, but this is a special name given by her. So first of all, thanks to Big Bear, they were able to give me a lot of spares that was required. Uh, the s and kit and stuff like that, the stuff inside the engine. And yeah, from there the journey started, then went to Mantra Racing guys and mm. uh, Manju at Motorrad House helped me with uh, fitting certain stuff. And yeah, every other place here and there to pick up accessories on the go. So this is a unique Royal Enfield. Unique Royal Enfield. And you claim that uh, this could be the fastest. Yes, it in fact is the fastest. Royal Enfield. Yeah, I'm embargoing whatever mantra guys have uh, told me, but I'm not going to say that. But yes, put it on the track, give it a rider who's 50 kilos and who's a national champion and he's going to hit a good speed. As simple as that, boss. So, this is the fastest Royal Enfield. Absolutely. Is it the most expensive Royal Enfield? Well, I'm going to leave that to you. <laughs> I'm, I'm not in the trip of what's expensive. I'm in the, the trip of what can be done tastefully. Very nice. I yes. like it. Yes. You, have a, you had an RD350. Yes. So, yes. This reminds very, you of that very motorcycle? Very similar to that. Yeah, yeah, very similar yeah, to that. Yeah. Just that when I took this bike off the showroom, it felt like an RX100. So I had to remove all the uh, restrictions. Ouch. Royal Enfield, <laughs> ouch. <laughs> <laughs> I had to remove all the restrictions in India, the BS6 and stuff like that. Slightly work around that. The Mantra guys did a good job. They tuned the bike perfectly and they gave it to me. Yeah, I rode it. It felt really good. Yes. On the highway and up the hills and uh, back down. Yes. It's got a beautiful bubble. Yes. What happened With to a the lot DB of pops killers? And bangs. That I think went to the uh, 
Kirana store somewhere. <laughs> what, what do you say that? <laughs> you, you, lost the, fellow, yes. you lost the DB killer. Lost the DB killer. But I don't ride it loud. I ride it with talk. You can't go beyond second gear in Bangalore. Yeah. But you see, this is what I told the mantra guys. I don't want a bike which is difficult to ride. So they made it very peaceful. Yeah, it's got very a good mid range. Good mid range. Most of the power is in the mid range. In the mid range. It's not a top end revy motorcycle. Uh, nor is it uh, peaky and yeah. give you sudden bursts of uh, power. You have done a lot more to it. So yes. we will go through yes. it we'll one by one. Yeah. yeah, sure. I want to know what all you have done to this. Can we start at the front? Yes. I'm not going to tell you what all we've done in the engine, but I'll tell you what on the cosmetic side we've done. Or certain performance side. Yeah. I know some of it. Some of it. Cannot yes. hide it from Cannot me. Hide it. Yes. Yes. There's a beautiful uh, carbon fiber mudguard, as you can see, mm -hmm. with uh, matching carbon fiber uh, panels, side panels for the side panels. Is it a film you put on the? No, no, no. It no. itself is a it panel. It is a carbon fiber it's a panel. Carbon fiber panel so made it's a, by a beautiful. It's a different piece itself. Yes. You removed the stock mudguard mud and you replaced and with directly this. replaced it with it. There's a beautiful company out of uh, Bangalore, RLG Carbon. Mm -hmm. These guys are doing a good job, so I picked it up. They do for any bike, by the way. But interceptor is the hot thing today. Yeah, it is. So they're doing it. Okay, then we so put a nice uh, Puig screen. Puig wind screen. Yeah, All wind right. screen. We've got better lights. We've got Mad Dog with filters. This is a, this is a different ox line. beam. Ox beam. Okay. Ox beam. LED. Yes. Not that I ride too much in the evening, but if I ride in the evening, it it's got to it give helps. me. The stock lighting is not. Stock great. lighting is not that great. I got some beautiful mirrors, thanks to a good friend of mine who told me that these are good for touring. And they hit less light uh, These reflection. These are uh, Royal Enfield uh, mirrors. Accessories. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we've, we've got a nice uh, master uh, cylinder top cap. cap. Then we've got some uh, nice road power custom levers, which are adjustable. Okay. Gel grips. So you know. Yeah, takes I, felt, off. I felt them. It was nice. A bit yeah. squishy and nice. Nice. Uh, though I wear gloves, I still like the yeah. slightly yeah. soft feel. The most important thing I like about this is uh, the uh, uh, pullback pullback yeah, risers. Pull Indy motor. Indy motor. As well as I've taken a brand new handlebar and slightly turned it in this to is my stock, comfort. This is a stock handlebar. A stock handlebar of Royal Enfield. Which bent it inwards. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. We have a charging point. We have a ram mount. Phone mount. Yeah. We've done PPF for the full bike. Then I got the Motown custom uh, this is knee pads. You, you bought it from an Amazon? Uh, no, there's a dealer here, Motor Asher. Who, who sells yeah, this? Yeah, he's oh, the guy okay. who sells it. A lot of mantra stuff goes on inside, including we'll the We'll come to the inside later. Okay, we'll, okay. Because I'm going to <laughs> unravel all your secrets. Right, right. We've got a touring seat on. This is a Royal Enfield touring seat. Royal, uh, Royal Enfield touring oh, seat this on. This is good. This is yes, a good seat. Yes. Uh, we've, as you can see, we've got YSS suspension in the back, we've got YSS suspension in the front. It's the full kit. It's the full kit and mm -hmm. uh, you see for a guy of my stance, when I sit down, the original bike used to just slam in. Yeah, I am 80 kilos. Yeah, I am 120 I'm kilos. <laughs> right? Yeah, I make no bones of it. Yeah. So I wanted this bike to give me a good amount of uh, compression, rebound, damping. Okay. This does a great job. Single best accessory on the bike is this. So the the accessory that is most rewarding and uh, yes. uh, feeling feel you can what you can feel is the suspension. Yes, yeah. the more comfortable it is, the more you're going to ride it. Otherwise, you're not going to ride it. There you go. Yeah. So first preference uh, is always on comfort. Yeah. Once anything is comfortable, you're we'll you're good to go. More. Yeah. You're good yeah. to go. Yeah. Yeah. Then we put EBC brake pads, both front and back. These Remove are the, the sintered brake pads. Okay, you got rid of the stock. Pads. Got rid of the stock right away, pads. Straight away. Straight away. Straight away. Uh, most of these things were done within a week of getting the bike. Do you realize bike. Your, your warranty is completely short? It's okay. If I can afford <laughs> to buy the bike, I can afford to get it repaired. I've completed 30 years of motorcycling. I never go back to the company for uh, service. That's I okay. have my trusted people who take a very good care about all my bike and that's how it is. Any choice, as long as it is clear, yes. is the right choice. Is the right choice. You said it, boss. Yeah. Coming back then, we also got from uh, Big Bear the S&S &S, S &S. Uh, S and S kit. Yeah. These are the slip-ons. We have uh, we, some foot pegs, wide foot pegs. We got wide what foot pegs. What foot? What boot size do you wear? All right, I'm I'm 5'13", 5'13", 6'3", 6'3". You yes. know, the, you can imagine the stock foot peg sticks yeah. out like a cigarette under his. <laughs> so that's good. So you got a okay side stand expander. Side stand a, uh, extender so that in these kind of places, you know, mm. if it was slushy, it will not go down in. You got rid of the rear uh, yes. extender, mud yes. flap. Mud flap. That's about yeah. on the outside. That's on the outside. Nice modification. Thank you so much for this. I like it. I enjoyed it. I rode it. Thank Suspension you. Suspension was uh, on the firm side. I guess yes. you have set it up to your weight. My weight, yeah. So yeah. Uh, yeah. on good roads, it handles very well, that firmness. Yes. Slightly bumpy, it doesn't act as much as it would when you are riding it. Absolutely. So, uh, suspension is personal. Yes. Uh, bike is now uh, uh, seven months old. And, How many kilometers? Uh, 5,000 kilometers today I'm going to finish. 
All right. And uh, this is not the only bike I ride, so there are other bikes also, so it's not bad. It's not a garage queen. And yes, I'm, wa I'm waiting for some good tires. The minute they put, I'll do it. But it's, these tires are not bad these at all. These are stock tires, right? Stock tires. Seat tires. Mm -hmm. I have no complaints on them. Yeah, it could do better. It could do better. But then, yeah, if you give Royal Enfield probably a budget of 10 lakhs, they'll give you what's on uh, some of the other retro classic bikes. <laughs> these Mad Dog lights, uh, these yes. are the Delta variants, right? Uh, are these they... are the Scout X. Oh, Scout. Are they okay? They are fantastic. Yeah. 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 Okay. Limited uh, spot and uh, good enough in the evening anyway, if you're yeah. in the city. Uh, you won't be traveling too much. This is the amber cover you got. Amber cover that I got. Okay, okay. You, uh, you can uh, put back the different filter. What have you done to the engine, mister? Not I rode it. <laughs> it is not stuck. Yes. Okay? Yes. You have done something, which something. is obvious. Yes. It is not just the air filter. Absolutely. Do you have a free flow air filter? Uh, oh, yes. yes. You have a free flow exhaust? Free flow exhaust. Full system free flow exhaust, custom made by Mantra, guys. Full system. Ah. Absolutely. Yes. You see that, that particular point there that's welded there? So, it's a decat. Okay. Careful, it's, uh, it's the bike a, is hot. It's a full system. Okay, you got rid of that bulge in the middle. Absolutely. Okay, it's, so it's a complete system. Absolutely, Chief. And calculated, calibrated okay. by the best in the country. Complete system, yep. free flow, Yep. free flow air filter. Absolutely. And then? And then, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll spill the beans on one. We have a high lift cam from s, &S. A dear oh, friend helped me get right. it. Right. High lift s, &S. High lift s, &S. It's Better not a, spark plug. It's not an 850. It's not an 850. It is, we didn't go there. It's still a We didn't go there. You can take this bike in this particular format, rip on any road and still reach Ladakh and come back with full reliability. That's what those guys There was them. a concern with the tuned stuff that at high altitude it starts to lose power. Lose power and all that. Yes, yes. Yeah. So I didn't go to that 850 purpose. So that's a problem. Eh, not a problem. That's a fact. That yeah. Stock tunings are set to handle varied conditions. Conditions. So they may not deliver the highest power anywhere. Yes, it's optimally it's tuned. Optimally for all conditions. Absolutely. So when we tune it, we are kind of narrowing that narrowing operating down. band. Yes. So that has not, shouldn't have happened. It shouldn't have happened in this. Right? In this. So, so we were very clear on you that. You don't plan to go to late Ladakh anyway. Do I you? don't. I don't. <laughs> or oh, you don't know, I just may. High lift cam. Yes. Remapped. Remapped. So after you did all the modifications, the yes. tuning was done. The tuning was done. Is it a piggyback ECU is there? Uh, yeah. No, it's not a piggyback ECU, it's an all different ECU. Oh, it's a complete ECU. Complete different kit. We've gone the full hog on this. Mm. Uh, uh, no stone uncut. What mileage are you getting in the city? As it I is, have Bangalore a, traffic we all know, but yeah. what, what do you still yeah, get in? Yeah. It gives me 25 to the liter. In but city. that's purely because the way I ride it. Right, I feather the throttle. But if you are to do peak to peak, you will so probably doesn't lose guzzle gas. It doesn't guzzle gas. Yeah, I rode it, I couldn't smell any fuel. Nothing. Did you put it on the dyno yet? Yes. It's gone on the dyno twice. Okay, can yeah, you this reveal? Is twice on uh, easy 15% uh, more at the wheel compared to stock bike and a better torque curve. So the standard is about curve. 47. 47. So about 50. So about 55. Could be closer. You could be more. You're holding back. You're not <laughs> revealing. Uh, we could make this bike a lot uh, lighter and challenge it on the track. What too. did it cost you? This bike, the way it is. I've maxed the cost of a brand new interceptor purely on accessories and engine mods. Four plus. More than that. Mm, five lakhs, close to? Yeah, the tires and the bigger brakes are yet to come. Okay, so it's work in progress. Work in progress, As but well. it's almost done. You can still ride it like so this right all now the time. So right now the meter is standing at around five lakhs, four and a half to five. Four and a half to five lakhs. So that's where the meter is. That's now. where the meter is. Okay. Yeah. So it's pure passion. It's not to ah, prove know, a point of money or. Tires, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. a necessity. Yeah. And with all this, you need better brakes. Better brakes. So that's also a reasonable necessity. Necessity. Nothing more. So I don't see anything that is completely unnecessary here. Nothing at all. Mm, except maybe a 120 kilo rider. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to the tires. Yes. I'm looking forward to the brakes. There are some restrictions on yeah. tires, but it should come by next month. Do you plan to go to 850? Just a question. And right now, I mean, we can change our decision. We right now, do it. you plan to go to a 850? I wouldn't mind doing it, uh -huh. but if my tuner says, it's not going to be reliable, I'm not going to touch it. Yeah, no point. Yeah, and I don't want to keep this bike as just an odd ride on a Sunday on a track or something like that. It has to take me for my haircut, it has to take me for my grocery run to drop my daughter at school. Because I've bought this with the sole intention that I ride it daily because my other bike, the big fellow, the Ducati Multistrada is for the long run. That's a 950, right? 950. You've done some kichidi to that also, no? Uh, similar and if not bigger and better. You need to give me a ride on that one day. Sir, so, before that you should ride the Aerox too. Because that's also being tuned by the mantra guys. Unde mantra martya. Unde mantra maro. Mantra tantra. Good job. Thank you so much, Chief. Matters nice. the most.
tastefully done. Yes. And I, for personal I satisfaction. I appreciate the efforts you have put in. And like you say, at first glance, it doesn't stand out. Nothing. In any way. Yes. It's subtly modified. Yes. Purposefully and yes. tastefully. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the other two yeah. modifications coming up. If you see, you see we, we put Toyota horns here. And they're black Toyota. in color. Yes. Which Toyota? The Toyota Innova horns. The Denso horns. This is the horns are from the Innova? Yes, they are from the Innova. They, they, uh, they uh, feel better and they look better in black. They're much smaller, half the size. Much smaller, half the size. How much does it cost? I think yeah. about seven, eight hundred rupees. So that's something new, I guess yes. we all yes. learned today. You can yeah. use a Innova, it's a double set, right? Double set. set, yeah. yeah double set. It needs no mm. relay, nothing, plug and play. Awesome. That's These nice. are the small things that come with you over the years of riding. Got some TPMS also. Absolutely. By that. Sensory. By Sensory. So it's on the Bluetooth. On the, on the mobile. And it gives me an alert if the uh, tire pressure is less. When you change tires, I think you need to do that tubeless treatment. Tubeless treatment also, yeah. yeah. That is coming up on the way. Okay. I have an accessory for you. Please. It's pretty easy to install. Yeah. We can install it ourselves. Yeah. And it immediately changes the value of the motorcycle significantly. Go ahead. Oh yeah, thank you. It requires a simple tool to install. Right. I don't. I didn't bring it here. No problem. So you have to go home and install it. Okay, I'll do that. And then you can tell me yeah. if it has added value to the motorcycle. Surely it will. There is a di <laughs> diamond. <laughs> Only boss keeps doing this. But I'll tell you something. Huh? If, you, if you keep it in the rays of the sun and point it to the bike, all the good chi and the good vibrations will fall in. So uh, may God be with us. Happy riding. Happy and safe riding. Absolutely, Chief. Brilliant talking with you today. Absolutely. Happy to see this. Thank you so Stick much. Stick it on in an appropriate place <laughs> and may it add a few more lakhs of value to your modifications. Thank you so much. Cheers. Take care. Cheers, Chief. Hey, that's it for today. Ciao. Bye. Okay, say something, mister. Good afternoon, Chief. Welcome to my favorite place, Nandi Hills. <laughs> I'm sure we're going to have a good time. We've been having a good time for the last two hours. Yeah, Let's yeah. see how it rolls. All right. Mic testing, mic testing.